People in Fredonia have been under a boil water advisory for several weeks, and it looks like that's going to last a little while longer. Jeff Rusak tonight reports on what local leaders say the source of that problem is with the village's water supply. It's all the talk at Henry's Hair Company in Fredonia. We have to do shampoos, but thank God we don't have to boil the water for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But still, you know, it's like... It's hard. Henry Pucciarelli was hoping to hear some good news Monday from Fredonia officials about the boil advisory. He did not. It's still in effect. But health and water officials believe it will be over soon. They almost called it off on Monday. Uh, yesterday morning, all turbidities were in compliance with state standards. However, as of early this morning, the turbidities in the Clearwell climbed uh, slowly above 0.3 to around a 0.5. The boil advisory has been in place since September 10th. It's all because of a hot summer and a small reservoir. The population of algae and plankton and other critters in the water exploded during uh, late July and into the middle of August. Engineers believe they are close to ending the advisory. They are asking for the public's help to get there. So by everybody testing it on their own, that's using a lot of water, it's basically slowing down the process of us bringing our numbers down and, and trickling it through there through the plant, which we need to do right now. It's been a long couple of weeks in Fredonia. I just wish it would be over with. Everybody's having a really hard time with that. And the hope is the boil advisory will be called off soon. Jeffrey Sack, 7 Eyewitness News.